Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr Anderson. Today we're going to be reading Never Tickle a Tiger. Written by Pamela Butchart and illustrated by Mark Boutifon. Izzy was forever shuffling and jiggling, squirming and twitching, wriggling and fiddling. She just couldn't help it. It happened at home. Izzy, stop playing with your peas, said Dad. At school? Izzy, stop painting your pigtails, said Miss Potterhurst. At Grandma's? Izzy, stop knotting my knitting, said Grandma. And... As for at parties, well... Izzy, stop jiggling the jelly, cried everyone. No matter how hard she tried, Izzy just couldn't keep still. It's no good, she sighed. I'm just a jiggler and that's that. So when, one day... Class 4B went on a trip to the zoo. It came as no surprise to anyone that Izzy was wriggling and jiggling, shuffling and fiddling as soon as they walked through the zoo gates. Stop stroking the snakes, called Miss Potterhurst. Don't excite the elephants. Forget about bothering the bears. Don't mess with the monkeys. Izzy, stop tapping the tortoises. Stop poking the peacock. And never, ever tickle a tiger. At lunchtime, Izzy sat shuffling her sandwiches. It's so unfair, she said. I'm never allowed to do anything. And what's wrong with fidgeting anyway? Little did Izzy know that she was about to find out. Whilst all the other children finished their lunch, Izzy fidgeted her feet, bounced across the bench, shimmied onto the floor, wriggled under a bush, skipped past the aviary and danced along the path all the way to the tiger enclosure. I wonder, thought Izzy, and with that she reached out her feather and tickle, tickle, tickled the tiger. <laughs> roared the tiger. He threw his furry paws in the air, which broke the branch, which startled the snake, who bit the bear, who walloped the walrus, who splashed a sloth, who punched a penguin, who kicked a croc, who snapped at a skunk, who ponged a panda, who rammed a rhino, who hit the hippo, who wibbled and wobbled and... Splash! The lion roared, the parrot squawked, the snakes hissed, the elephant trumpeted loudly. Miss Potterhurst squealed, the children giggled and the zookeeper came running. It was pandemonium and it was all Izzy's fault. But then... Stop! shouted Izzy at the top of her voice. Stop squealing, squawking, splashing and flapping. Enough running, roaming, ramming and bumping. No more jiggling, wriggling, shuffling and squirming. And guess what? It worked. The zookeeper stopped running. Miss Potterhurst stopped squealing. The children stopped giggling and all the animals went back to their homes. And as for Izzy... You were right all along, Miss Potterhurst, she said. I'll never, ever tickle a tiger again. But... What 
can be the harm of prodding a polar bear, she thought. The end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notification of new stories.